and a lot of a lot of the social dysfunctionality occurs online and we are not part of that community and we need to be cognizant within our hockey teams that they will form social networks online and they will say things a lot meaner to each other online and i just think we need to be aware of that as almost like a second dressing room that occurs uh, once they leave the rink and there's a lot of bad things that can happen in that area and we just i think just to have to have our antenna up around that that's all <clears throat> Dave, it's, uh, I've experienced that, <clears throat> midget AAA girls, and uh, some parents were wanting to go to court over some of the comments made towards uh, one another and uh, on the receiving end of it for online things. So it, the, that's a toxic culture. And I'm yeah. Not and I've been a section head where I where I have to engage with the students on that who have issues. Um, and normally the issues that I've experienced are when students are bullied online and they're used to being bullied online in a weird way. What upsets them the most, at least in the women I've dealt with at our school who are bullied, is that no one comes to their defense online. And then they therefore feel that their teammates do not support them or through their silence, agree with the bullies and what they're saying. And uh, I just think it's something we, you know, we don't normally think about because, you know, we're the case of beer in the middle of the room, let's solve the problem type of generation. Um, or, or other ways to settle it on the ice and, you know, we have a fight at practice and everything's okay. I, there's just a whole other back channel of information going on that we need to be aware of. Dave, I just thought of Kim's suggestion where she had four issues and the players went into groups and discussed the four. And uh, I don't know if that has any merits in terms of an activity for students to formally do in terms of getting to the roots of those problems. Uh, can you comment? Or if... I, I think, as Jordan said, any any opportunity to build you know, unity within a group is a great thing to do. Uh, lots of informal activities, whether those are discussions or just team activities together. I'm just saying we used to be, hey, let's go to the bar together. So we, can't, we can't do that in women's hockey or in minor hockey, but we have to be able to even maybe have those proactive sessions with our, with our teams around conduct online, um, and how they need to have some respect for each other. And it doesn't guarantee it's going to happen. Yeah. But I think, yeah, having those proactive group sessions is always a, a positive thing. Like, I, I'm just thinking that was one of the topics, social media, bullying. And I wouldn't put bullying in because it might cause people not to speak, but the uh, pitfalls of social media and the advantages of social media and how it can build your culture or destroy your culture. That's a topic that maybe a group of girls could discuss openly and honestly before, proactively before things happened. I don't know, but I would really, that's one thing I wrote down when Kim had mentioned the discussions in the groups and they always came up with solutions themselves because in the end, they're the ones that have to uh, communicate with each other and learn to trust and respect one another. So, <clears throat> well, it's been another great session. Both I, topics uh, would be really good, actually, and adding that social media piece would be important. Uh, with our crew, uh, we had a phone hotel uh, that uh, basically it's a, a closet shoe organizer and put uh, the players helmet numbers stickers on on it and uh, as soon as the kids walked into the dressing room their phone had to go into that and so all 19 phones would be in there um, but that being said there's a lot of time outside of that where they had their phones and, and things like that uh, one thing that I learned a few years ago that was actually a little surprising, but not not so much. Was uh, asking a group of kids uh, how many had texted someone else that was in the same room about somebody that was in that room. 
Whereas if uh, when we were younger, uh, if you had if you wanted to say something behind somebody's back, uh, you had to do it uh, usually when they weren't around. Well, now they can text each other that, and it, that's where the real damaging piece to culture can happen. And and I think that that's where uh, being aware of that is something a person has to be uh, being proactive with it. And I really like what Kim said about going through a few scenarios. Uh, it's kind of, Wally, it's kind of like going back to what you talked about in 2002, where you guys made a list of all the things that could have went wrong uh, going into the Salt Lake. And uh, it's, it's being that proactive piece, helping you to manage it. You won't manage all the pitfalls, but should be able to manage a few. And uh, so that's, that's the, the big thing. And then uh, I guess the last thing I'll say is the, the important thing is that uh, the worst thing that you can do in that situation is do nothing. Is to say, figure that it'll get better or that the kids can handle it. Uh, yeah, we're not hired to be counselors uh, or or mediators, and, but unfortunately, it becomes part of the role. Well, any other comments? Uh, Dom, I'm curious whether you've encountered any social media problems with your groups. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's interesting, you know. Um, yeah, going through now with on, on the girls' side, talking about, you know, girls texting about one another when they're sitting right there. Like, you know, I guess my question to you, Jordan, is how do you deal with like, how do you deal with that? Because I'm, like, you know, and I've, and again, it, this is trying to, you know progress and find the right way to do it but like they'll literally lie right to your face right um and so like what is the accountability how does the accountability <laughs> even look look from that side of things well it's actually kind of funny Dom, that uh, uh <laughs> myself and a couple of administrators were talking about that a few years ago in uh, when the first cyberbullying stuff was coming out and and uh we said you know this is something that's awful that's happening because as uh, as uh, Tim was saying there that people feel braver online uh, but it actually became easier to investigate because people keep screenshots so it's it's more definitive whereas if uh, back in, in the day and you and I are on the same team and and uh, I it's just you and I in the locker room and and I say something disparaging against you and you go to an assistant coach with the, saying that I did, I just can deny it. Whereas the screenshots now, you can't deny it. You just lay the screenshot out there and you go, okay. Um, but I think that that's where uh, using Rick's uh, team covenant at the start of the year, coming up with that together. And these are the rules. This is what we've come up with as a team. And uh, so if, if you're doing this, well, this is this is uh, the consequence, and uh, and that's the the other piece with uh, the kids. It's the consistency of consequence too. Is that it doesn't matter whether it's your team captain or whether it's the the player that that uh, is seen to be the the lowest skilled on the team, but they all receive the same consequence for the same action. Uh, of course, within reason, you have to uh, investigate everything individually treat them as an individual but if it's a similar offense they need similar consequences yeah but it isn't getting uh, easier that's for sure <laughs> no no definitely not and the other one then it's too bad that uh, sammy and kim are, are gone is uh, um, the, the whole idea that uh, well, how many times in your career did you see two players get into a dust up on the ice where it actually ended up in fisticuffs and within a couple of days they were back to being regular teammates? Whereas yeah, me. With, with females, they will forgive, but they won't forget. And uh, yeah. and it's not a, a forgiveness right down, back to ground zero. It's, it's uh, a forgiveness with conditions. And uh, that was one of the issues that I had with the team a couple of years ago, that there were historical things that, uh, and that's 
uh, have to navigate through stuff that, that's two and three years old, uh, historical uh, bad blood amongst players or bad blood amongst parents, which <laughs> adds a different wrinkle to Yeah, I'm de- actually talking about parents. I'm dealing, dealing with that now. There's players that you're recruiting and certain parents are – like, well, I can't play, we can't play with that, that individual. And, you know, now you're dealing with something that happened when they were 12, you like it's, you know, so, but okay. yeah. I'm just thinking, and this goes back to Kim's suggestion and Jordan also to this uh, preparation before the Olympics with the girls team where list everything that could go wrong in a season as a coach uh, and as a team related to this top so problems that occur through social media if you could talk about them before the season early in the season and address them and they discuss with one another the uh, pros and cons of of the importance of real authentic respect, which is what you're trying to do with students. You're trying to teach them that. And I think it it, it really overrides the end result. I'm just, I don't know whether it's possible or feasible or necessary, but if you pick your players well, as Jordan did, he selected based on character. And it led to being able to do everything he wanted to do. But in your case, Dom, you're, <clears throat> you can't do that. It's, they're not all lined up getting a pick of best. So you're you're going to take people. And they have to learn those lessons over time. And, uh, in, in time, the parents will appreciate that, I hope. Well, I, I'm sort of, uh, I'm feeling pretty normal, except for a cough and, and whatnot with COVID. But I tested positive yesterday. I think I mentioned it to a number of people. 